Let's go on with question 7 of paper 1, November 2020. 7.1 Determine the first derivative from first principles if fx is equal to 2x squared minus 1. So on our formula sheet, we have f prime x is equals to the limit of h towards 0. And then we have fx plus h minus fx over h. We already know what fx is. So before we use the formula, let us find fx plus h. So what this means is that we will replace x with x plus h. So it would be 2 times x plus h squared minus 1. And if I multiply out, it will be 2 times x squared plus 2hx plus h squared minus 1. And now I'll multiply 2 with this trinomial. So it will be 2x squared plus 4hx plus 2h squared minus 1. Next in our formula, we have fx plus h minus fx. So before we substitute, let us find this portion already. So it is fx plus h minus fx. That will be equal to 2x squared plus 4hx plus 2h squared minus 1. And then we need to subtract fx. Notice that we are subtracting fx. And fx is wholly represented by 2x squared minus 1. And in order for us to subtract correctly, we need to subtract and we use brackets to indicate that we are removing the whole fx. So if I simplify, I will have 2x squared plus 4hx plus 2h squared minus 1 minus 2x squared plus 1. So remember to use brackets so you can see the sign change. And now I can simplify further by adding up like terms. So 2x squared minus 2x squared would become 0. So I'll have 4hx plus 2h squared. And then minus 1 plus 1 would become 0. So this is fx plus h minus fx. Now I can substitute this into the formula which I have on my formula sheet. So fx plus h minus fx is represented by 4hx plus 2h squared and then over h. Now we cannot apply the limit yet because we are not allowed to divide by 0. So it will be the limit of h towards 0. And in the numerator, I'll take out a common factor of h. So the first term would be 4x and the second term 2h over h. Now the h values would cancel out. So I'll have the limit of h towards 0 of 4x plus 2h. And now I can remove the limitation and substitute h with 0. Therefore, the first derivative is 4x. And this is how we do it from first principles. 7.2.1 says determine d dx. So we have a third and x cubed. And before we can apply differentiation, we would need to remove this root. 
and in grade 11 we learned how to do it so it'll be x to the power of 2 over 5 plus x cubed now in order for us to apply the rule of differentiation we would multiply the coefficient of x which is 1 with the exponent which is 2 over 5 so it will be 2 over 5 times 1 which is 2 over 5 x to the power of 2 over 5 minus 1 plus then it's 3 times 1 which is 3 x to the power of 3 minus 1 and that's how we apply differentiation but we can simplify further so it will be 2 over 5 x to the power of negative 3 over 5 plus 3x squared next we need to derive or find the first derivative of fx where x cannot be equals to negative 1 and a half so fx is equals to 4x squared minus 9 over 4x plus 6. And in our previous grades, we learned to identify this numerator as a difference of two squares. So it is simple factorization. And it will be 2x minus 3 and 2x plus 3. Now that I have factorized the numerator, I need to rewrite or even factorize the denominator. And I want to recreate one of these fractions. And in order to do that, I see I can take out a 2 as a common factor. So it will be 2, and the first term would be 2x, and the second term plus 3. Now the 2x plus 3 brackets would cancel each other out. So I'll have 2x minus 3 over 2. And I can even split up the fraction in order for me to apply differentiation. So it will be 2x over 2 minus 3 over 2. Because we have a singular term in our denominator we can split the fraction into two terms and if I simplify further I'll have x minus 3 over 2 and this is fx now if I apply the rule of differentiation I would see that x becomes 1 and the constant 0 so therefore the first derivative is equal to 1.